Section Furniture, which is a series of uh, Class A drugs warrants to be executed under Section 8 of PACE. These warrants uh, uh, are in place and ready to go. There are a number of addresses, four addresses for us to attend today, uh, which we'll go through. Identified a number of individuals who have been actively engaged in a conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. It is anticipated that the relevant material of substantial value to the investigation will be found at a number of these addresses. Why did you want to be here today? Well, I think it's important to demonstrate to communities that uh, tackling the drugs menace within the county is a really important part of the police and crime plan. Um, the whole team uh, is behind this. And if the community give us the information, just give us anything they know about people who might be um, causing crime, particularly dealing in drugs in their locality, then we will turn up and we will deal with those offenders. So it's a real message of confidence this morning. And as Chief Constable, I wanted to underpin that message. How big has the problem become with hard drugs on the streets in Suffolk? Well, this, this, we're not talking about something that's uh, an, an epidemic. We need to uh, ensure that the community are prepared to give us the information that they've got and we can respond to that very quickly. And of course, dealing in Class A drugs, serious offence in its own right, but what we do know is that when people get addicted to those drugs, they are at risk of committing crime. That then causes greater disruption to the community. So we're on top of it, but we need to keep that relationship going with local communities. Uh, and I know following the trail of this investigation has taken the team to London. How big a worry is that, the drugs and the team may be moving out of London and targeting places like Ipswich? Well the supply of drugs has got to come from somewhere and as with any county that is relatively close to the border of a metropolitan area then we're going to have to work very closely with colleagues in those metropolitan areas to make sure we can understand that supply. Uh, but the operation that we've had yesterday and today uh, so, so that's a total of uh, 17 warrants that we'll be executing, a uh, number of people already in custody, a number of people being charged, means that effectively we have for the time being closed that supply of drugs coming from London. Is there a worry from your point of view that maybe these gangs see this place as a bit of a soft touch? Um, I, I think that the, uh, the supply of drugs will attempt to find somewhere where it is easier to, to engage in that business. Now, today we are demonstrating it is not easy to come to Suffolk and supply controlled drugs. In fact, we're making it very, very difficult. And again, as soon as communities become aware of something unusual in a premises, lots of visitors, um, strange cars, people they've never seen before, just let us know. We'll actually decide whether or not there is something amiss and something that we, we need to take enforcement action. That's a responsibility sits with us. The community can just know that they can tell us the information. We've seen this scene a lot of times with doors being crashed in. These are really just PR opportunities, aren't they, for the force? No, not at all. Um, because we've been able to take people into custody day, today, we've uh, found controlled substances, we've been charging people. This is a really core part of our law enforcement activity and a really important part of the police and crime plan. But today is about saying that um, whilst some of the activity we do the public will not see, we must give them the confidence that we are taking action on the information that they give to us. So, uh, so this is what today is about, as well as uh, getting people into custody and, and seizing controlled drugs.
Well, we, um, we've executed a search warrant this morning um, as part of an operation to crack down on the supply of Class A drugs in Ipswich in the surrounding area and these are uh, some of the items that we found in the premises. This one in particular was resting alongside the, the front door and, and sometimes I think members of the public wonder about the degree of force that we use to enter premises and why we just don't knock politely and expect people to come down. Now the reason is we have to take control of the property for the safety of officers and for the safety of people inside. Um, there's nothing to say that the people intended uh, to use this article uh, against the police, but they wouldn't necessarily know um, who was entering their property this morning. But I, I, think, I think the message is we've all got to have an opinion about the supply of um, illegal drugs within our communities. It causes a lot of crime, um, a lot of heartache for the people who end up becoming dependent upon those controlled drugs. But this is the sort of thing that comes with that marketplace, and it's why we've got to be really firm in, in clamping down on it. Superintendent, talk us through the operation, it seems. Uh, this is an operation to enforce against uh, those individuals that have been supplying Class A drugs. Uh, it's been a, a well-planned uh, operation over several months, which is culminating in the arrests that you've seen and enforcement today. You able to give us any idea of the scale of the operation in terms of officers involved, that kind of thing? There's been over 20 officers involved today, um, working tirelessly to um, bring this to fruition. So it's a, it's a process that we go through that you've seen the enforcement phase, then there'll be some officers who will deal with the interview phase uh, back at the uh, custody facility. And clearly a lot of hard work has gone into this. Does this begin with information from the public? Absolutely. We rely totally on the, the information that we receive from the public and we work around the, the information that's received to bring this to fruition as you've seen today. I mean, the first thing your colleagues found that was in there was a ugly looking machete. I mean, is that a a stark image of the reality of the drug trade. It is a stark image, um, but again, it's there for. Um, we've, we've dealt with it. Our officers are, are protecting, and it's about us kind of going through and enforcing the situation that we found ourselves in. So it was, uh, it was safe for us to do so. In reality, it is about letting drug gangs know that if they come to it, they're not going to have an easy time. Absolutely, you know, Suffolk is a, a hostile environment for drug uh, groups to come here.